What is up, heroes? This is Midnight Zero, and welcome back to Hero vs. Zero. Yes, this is the finale, but first, I need to go over last week's challenge. And in that challenge, I had you guys play Slender, collect at least five pages, and to be honest, not that many of you tried it. Uh, apparently, there were some challenges with getting the program to run smoothly, or your computer crashed while I was trying to record and play Slender at the same time. I didn't think it was that big of a deal. I didn't foresee this sort of problem, so if you couldn't partake for any reason other than being scared, I'm really sorry, and uh, I'll try to avoid these sorts of things in the future. But back to the challenge, the winner from the last week was... Nate. Not only did he collect all five pages, he actually got one more, and it's not too easy. He does it relatively quickly, moving around. I know he had a map, and had a well-planned out route, he knew what he was doing, he had an objective, and he completed it. So... Good stuff to Nate, and amongst the other attempts and uh, completions, definitely some good videos. If you haven't, check out Thomas from Yoshi Games TJ. He actually fired up the face cam and showed himself playing Slender, having a good time, and you know, it's okay to be scared, and being able to make fun of yourself being scared is a great thing and makes for a great YouTube video, so be sure to check that out. And now, the moment you guys have been waiting for, the results of Hero vs. Zero Season 3. In third place, we have Noah, the Hockey Gamer, coming out of the gate strong, winning that very first Smash Challenge we had this season. He's been partaking in every single event since, completing almost all of them. The only one he just had to attempt was actually the one he couldn't complete due to technical difficulties. So, great job to Noah, the Hockey Gamer. If you haven't yet, please check out his YouTube channel. He's got a lot of videos, a lot of cool thoughts, so do check him out. And in second place, we have Mixer Pan. Now, both Mixer Pan and Noah the Hockey Gamer are new to Hero vs. Zero. This, se this season is their first time competing in Hero vs. Zero, and they both did super well. Mixer Pan also completing every single challenge he partook in. Hmm, I wonder if it's such a shocker that everyone who's in the top three has actually completed every single challenge, or at least attempted it. And if you haven't yet, you should check out his channel. He doesn't have a lot uploaded, and I don't know if he intends to upload or not, but even if you haven't met him yet, he's a good guy, worth getting to know. I think he's running Pokemon tournaments, so if you enjoyed that challenge, uh, be sure to message him on YouTube or maybe get involved with him on Skype. Great guy, and uh, congratulations to him. And in first place, we have the winner of Hero vs. Zero Season 3, Nate. Now, I tried to build up the suspense and such, but probably you guys saw this coming. Nate. Pulling off the three row, for those of you that don't know, there's a Smash player named Mango who's going to win a tournament called Evo for the third time, so they call it the three row. So there's been a three row thing because this is Nate's third season in a row, not to mention there have only been three seasons, of Hero vs. Zero that he's won. So he has completed the three row. And uh, congratulations to Nate. Every single challenge he's completed, um, he's won plenty of them, and he does them all with style. He's a great gamer and a great guy, so if you haven't yet, check out his YouTube channel where he has a whole bunch of cool challenge-related runs, and, I mean, if you have the opportunity to, get to know him on Skype or YouTube or by some other means. Awesome guy. 10 out of 10 would recommend you meet again. So, that about wraps it up for Hero vs. Zero Season 3. However, I do have a very important announcement con concerning um, Hero vs. Zero Season 4, and that is that, well... First of all, I'm the only person running Hero vs. Zero. However, there's going to be a new person joining the team, joining the staff that runs Hero vs. Zero, that chooses the challenges, decides what the difficulty levels are, etc. And that person is going to be Nate. Now, Nate, having won three different Hero vs. Zero seasons, has shown that he's really good at challenges, good at a variety of games, and he's got great ideas for challenges. So, he's actually going to be behind the scenes next season, helping to choose the challenges and such. He won't be allowed to participate while he's doing so, but he's agreed to help out with the series, and I'm really excited that he's just as excited for the series as I am. So, if everyone could congratulate him, not only on winning, but also getting to help out with the Season 4, and hopefully future seasons too, that would be awesome. Now, as far as feedback on Season 3, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts on what was your favorite challenge, why you liked certain challenges. If you didn't like a challenge, please tell me why. I'd love to get constructive criticism. And if you have any ideas for future challenges, please let me know. Again, I like to have accessible games that have various difficulty levels and have something pretty objective to determine 
uh, who's the winner. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching the series, even if you don't participate, and especially to those of you who participate. There were 22 unique individuals who partook in Hero vs. Zero challenges. So thank you to each and every one of you for giving attention to this awesome series that I love to do. And I'm really looking forward to the next season, and I hope you guys are too. But until then, this has been Midnight Zero, and this mission is complete.